after each player combat. Okay, so you can grab your items here and it's fine. It works on PvE rounds still. Really? Let's try it for science. So if my EXP goes from 10 to 14, you are correct. And if it goes from 10 to 12, you are wrong and I permaban you. All right, let's take a look. Haplicity claims that it works. Thank you, the Dionysus. The Dionysus. Welcome. <laughs> this story is not yet finished. This world needs hope. My destination is clear. Okay, I think I'm gonna play Sinjar this game, but the items are still pretty flexible, we just know it has to be AP. I think in general, Diamond Hand, oh. This is an interesting timing for this event. I wonder if anybody will roll here. Hmm, will anybody roll here? York reduces the cost to reroll your shop by one. Yeah, I think if you're playing Kog'Maw, it actually is really good. But I don't think anybody is. Otherwise, you might... I might be down to roll if I had a streak and I wanted to make sure I keep it. I think it's only worth it if you keep a five streak from it. If, if you're, like, sitting on four pairs. What does your augment do? You, you have to slam all your items, and you can't cheat by having it on your bench. You can't slam it on like this Kha'Zix, for example. And then it gives you um, get two gold per round. I really like it, because I, I like flex play to nine. I don't think I need to roll here. I'm not sitting on any significant pairs. Okay, well, I'm down to attempt a Cinder game. I like Syndra way more than Aphilios. I really hate builds that involve staying at 7 and praying you hit. Because you can just miss, and then the game sucks. I'd much rather do flex play, because it's it's very consistent. Well, you can still miss, but your odds of hitting a Syndra 2 at 8 are way better than your odds of hitting Aphilios. Wait, I, what the heck? Am I losing? Oh, wait, it's not even my fight. What the? Oh, I still lost. Oh no. I didn't, I didn't even see what the fight was. But I'm sad that I lost. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Yeah, it said I had a 98% chance to win. Oh, okay, I mean, it's the also too. Uh, it's most likely a Syndra item, so it's here. It's not the end of the world. 
Like, it's mostly the end of the world when you try to protect your streak and then you fail. Because that, that is a lot of money lost. But, like, I can just not try to streak. I can just play, like, good tempo here. Oh, I have to slam. Uh... You could do Kindred as your item holder. Yeah, I'm down. Congratulations, Kindred. You are Syndra, but less hot. Actually... Yeah, no, you are Syndra, but less hot. This... This Caitlyn, these items are gonna go on a Volley Bear and it's gonna be so scary. Zonya's, I believe, is like Giga Biss. Dude! Oh no! You are one auto attack off of proccing my diamond hands. No, mine is one. Mine is one gold. Uh, let me look it up. If you have a Volibear 3, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like Zonya's Jax from uh, set 9 or set 10. Volibear 3. Zanya. Yeah, it's insanely good. Up for a showdown. Wait, this minus one's actually going to affect me. I'm actually not going to be able to make 30. Unless I print one and win. Yeah, I looked it up and Zanya's is Volibear's best item. Oh, second best item. Uh Titans are the best item, obviously. Hello, Solons. Thanks for the 16 months. Who is the hottest unit this set? Good question. If I had to pin one hottest unit... I, I would give it a toss-up between Rakan, Irelia, and Huey. Slay. You today. Okay, I always forget. After each player combat. Okay, so you can grab your items here and it's fine. What about Rek'Sai? Rek'Sai is very curvy. I'll give you that. It works on PvE rounds still. Really? Let's try it for science. So if my EXP goes from 10 to 14, you are correct. And if it goes from 10 to 12, you are wrong, and I permaban you. Alright, let's take a look. This guy in chat claims, haplicity, claims that it works. Oh wow, it does work, what? You weren't kidding. Wow, isn't that like so bad for the game? Then it's just like a, if you know, you're ahead. Wow, that is really bad. Oh fuck, I got a slam. Uh, I I should reforge something, but I don't know what. Aren't there a billion things about this game that you either know or suffer? Well, I mean, this one specifically says it shouldn't work. It specifically said, like, if you are, like, good at following instructions, you would be under the understanding that it... it uh, that it works on regular fights, but not creep rounds. But then, like, as we found out now, it's bugged. So now you're, like, you're either taking advantage of it or you're just behind all the people who would otherwise take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Probably best friends here. Oh, I like combat caster. Is crown guarded still bugged? No, uh, it, it works correctly now. Um. I feel like there's got to be a better unit. There's got to be a better unit to play here. The answer might have been to roll. What are the best faded pairs? It's usually Thresh Yasuo for the default tank stats. Uh, I had a very interesting game earlier where I had an Aphelios 3, but I failed to get a Gwinsu's. And someone in chat suggested that I pair Kindred Aphelios. 
or it, what was it? Kindred Thresh. Uh, because Kindred gives a shit ton of attack speed, so... And it worked out very well. So, like, now, generally, I just pair based on what stats I'm missing. Or the stats that would benefit my units the most, is a better way to put it. Choose a component, and Zyra grants you three copies of it. Uh, I feel like I'm down for TGs. I think the best one would have been tier, but the next best is probably TG. Okay, so what, what do you do here? You do this. You do that. You do that. You do that. And you do that. Okay, I am down. Or what rank do you end on Tekken? Uh, on stream, I hit Bushin. Uh, which I was really happy about, because Bushin is the equivalent of Master Tier. It's the top, like, 0.7% of ranked. So I was, I was very happy and very proud of it. I... After that, I started learning Sagem. My good friend, the fighting game commentator, gave me this leverless controller. And it's very hard to get used to, but I believe that it's very overpowered if you can use it correctly. That is my belief. That if I like take the time to learn it, it'll become very strong. And I've deranked three times. Or I've demoted three times. But I swear, any second now, it's gonna make sense, and I'm gonna pop off. Any second now. I'm, I'm sure tomorrow it will click. Uh, the biggest thing I have trouble with is the movement, because it's very unnatural. I... Uh, how do I explain it? So... So... The attack buttons are really standard. It's like these. Okay, sure. But the movement is like this. Left, down, right, up. And up is where your thumb is. And the reason is not to make sense. The reason is like, because that's just where your thumb is and it's like the fastest to press. Because if it were um, located above you, it would take a long time to like reach. You smell me? Yeah, it would like take too long to reach. So the idea of the leverless controller is to minimize the amount of time needed to go from like wanting to do something to actually doing it. Because if you're playing on a fight stick or you're playing on a D-pad, it takes time for you to go, go from holding block to holding forward or parrying. So the leverless like aims to combat that. Uh, and if I can, if, I tried it for about eight hours so far and I have not gotten used to it yet. Oh, hello, Sajem. I didn't realize you were in the chat. Nice to see you here. Yeah, somebody told me uh, to think of it like jump as up, but it's still pretty unnatural to me. Did you learn the swipe KBD? Uh, surprisingly, I actually had a lot of trouble KBDing. I thought KBDing on a level this was going to be like very easy and very free, but it was... Um, I'm definitely way better at KBDing on an Xbox gamepad. But it's fine. I didn't take a lever list to KBD. I went leverless so that I could, um, uh, mostly so I could parry quickly. And you're less likely to miss input because it's just like a perfect, like, either you press the button or you didn't. Whereas on the D-pad, I oftentimes like accidentally press up or down when I didn't mean to, just because like when you're moving your thumb quickly, there's a lot of room for error. Sajam said, I sent you an example of how to do it. Okay, noted. I will take a look. Uh, once I play Tekken. Honestly, I might play some Tekken later today. I'm really tilted from today's league streams. Uh, league? TFT. These have been some, like, horrible games. And, like, sometimes you'll just, like, sign on and low-roll five games in a row and then sign off, and it feels like shit. But this feels like double shit. It's been, like, eight games now where I don't feel like I've gotten to play. I mean, this game actually seems fine, though. This is the first game in a while that I didn't try to go for a streak, and I said, fuck it, I'll just play standard good tempo. And I'm actually gonna be able to make it to eight. Okay, so don't grab any items, because apparently Slimin is bugged. What a crazy bug. Hello, another sequence. Take back your spirit. This story is not yet finished. Stand back. How, how many removers? 
Okay, I need to hit one. Uh, one Syndra. One Syndra, and I can stop. One Syndra, and I can stop. One Syndra. This story is not yet finished. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, the best thing I could hit right here, we all know what it is, right? The best thing I can hit right here is Faded Crest. If I get Faded Crest, you may pog. Run, Kindred, run, run, kite! Wait, how, how did he just kill my Caitlyn from the back? What? Oh, Lucky Gloves is actually pretty good here. Faded. New Recruit. Uh, I don't think it's New Recruit. I think it's Lucky Gloves. All right, come on, Albert. Oh. All right, check this out. I call this Reforge into a Lucky Glove. Okay, there's a couple th ideas that I am, I'm having right now. So... Oh, Wait, I just realized. Oh, I'm gonna lose a slime in value. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just gonna lose 2 XP. Okay. Alright, one more try. Lucky Gloves. Right. Dang it. Okay. So, there's a couple thoughts I'm having here. Uh, the first thought is... I can Lucky Gloves my Yasuo, and then I can um, print a 3-star uh, Yasuo. I can also... Oh, shit. You know what? I was probably supposed to print Yasuo's first. Okay, well, I'll commit to the Kindred first. So, Kindred. Kindred gets Lucky Gloves. Okay. Uh, and then we print Kindred 3. It'll actually be pretty strong if I faded. Uh, if you told me I was supposed to roll here, I'd kind of believe you. Need Syndra 2. Need Syndra 2, need Thresh 2. Need to hit a 1-star uh, set. Okay, I'm down to roll. Especially knowing that I have Hoi to guarantee me 3 stars. It'll keep the count, just put Yasuo there. Wait, isn't it going to waste one turn? I'm pretty sure it wastes one turn. Okay, this guy in chat says I promise it won't waste a turn, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it wastes one turn. <laughs> Am I crazy? If I put Yasuo on there now, isn't it going to waste the one turn that I've already spent? Yeah, I, I'm like very certain it will waste a turn. I, I can't see any world where it doesn't waste a turn. Okay, I'm gonna roll here though. I, I have a lot to hit. Let me scout. Okay. I will surely hit. No prison can hold me. One Syndra. One Syndra or set. One Syndra or set. One Syndra or set, one Syndra. Shit. Think, Albert, think. Uh, if you played Lissandra over Huey right now, it's pretty strong. Wait, 
Wait, no. If you played Ari over Aphelios. Yeah. Ari over Aphelios. But yeah, Lucky Gloves, you also threw would be huge. I also need a Thresh too. I'm down to like keep rolling. Because like every turn that I stay alive, I get to print one high value unit. You can switch from bench quickly to change items when you print a two star. I don't think that's true. I actually don't think that's true. Come back later, Aphelios, okay? I held the greatest blessing. Such potential! This is like a surprisingly good build. Uh, now I'm just missing an Orn. My bench is like hella clogged. But yeah, four Arcanist by Faded actually feels pretty strong here. With a three star Yasuo in the front. Why is Nico still up there? I mean, she provides Arcanist. It could be Lissandra instead. Yeah, maybe that's arguably better. I alone decide my death is like the wind, always by my side. Okay, so I need to roll for a two-star uh, Syndra, and then a one-star Orin. Also, oh, oh, whoa. Blacksmith's gloves. At last, our ascension is oh, I forgot. Oh, wait. Wait, please give me a rod. No. No. Fate hunts you today. Such power. Oh fuck, this can't even go on anyone. Oh Okay, wait. I need to like throw this spat on somebody for slamming. Yeah, okay. Alright, Lissandra? Lissandra. <laughs> Sweetheart. Help help a brother get a faded spat. Dryad for Kindred? I mean, I am about to put a Dryad in. It's Orn. I'll be at three Dryad. Oh. Wait! I just realized something. Guys, if I play Orn, He's actually the only person who can hold the blacksmith's gloves on my team. And this is a lore accurate Orn. It is actually lore accurate. The blacksmith's gloves. All right, let's see what five faded or Arcanist can do. If I if Lissandra randomly prints me a rod at level nine, I can go seven faded and and win the game with a set. Wow, random three star kindred, random three star Yasuo. That play was awesome. Oh oh, combat caster, <laughs> micro shield. Wow, I can go nine next round. I'm gonna say it. I actually have no idea what is currently on my green text overlay. I'm down to not look and just put up the green text no matter what, okay? No way, I. Maybe I should have looked. That was pretty stupid. I don't know what context would have caused me to say that earlier, but I regret not looking in advance. 
Come on. Lissandra, baby, please print a rod. It's actually the game winning play if you do. You have some time, right? I still need to hit my set. Can Lux fit in here? Not really. It's just set at nine and then pray you get a faded spet. Why is this stream in 720p? I don't know. Apparently not everybody has 720p. Some people have 1080. Uh, and then I guess if you're unlucky, you have 720. I messaged Twitch about it and they said, right? Like they, they were like, have you tried lowering your bitrate? I was like, I cannot fathom a world where that's the answer. And they're like, well, we're all out of ideas. <laughs> I need this dry out. Oh, oh I, I could have taken the ghostly spat actually. Ghostly spat was not bad. All right, can I get a set? Ready for this? Uh, Duelist, Ghostly, Porcelain, Reaper, Warden. Is Ash actually gonna do something? Okay, she she kind of does because um, Lissandra needs to live. But like, I kind of wanted to play the Nautilus instead, but. All right, my favorite game of will Lissandra print? If she does, will she print an item? If she does, will it be a rod? Oh, that's an item. I'm not gonna take it yet because of Slemon, but there is a chance. There's a chance, everybody. Oh, oh, what? My unit got one shot, like literally one auto. I don't even think it was a crit. All right, come on, come on. Rod, I win the game. All right, I'm not gonna look at my red text overlay. I'm going to just put up the red text and say whatever it says. Wu dang. Wow. I like really cannot imagine what the context was for me to say that. Do you wanna grab a Phileos? Uh, no. I'm gonna make 10, cause uh, it's set and then faded crest for seven. Oh, wait, this thing has 7,000 HP. Uh-oh. Holy crap. Oh no, is this the end? Okay, guys, this sounds like some major cope, but what if my loot subscription gives me another spat? Don't we all agree that that could technically happen? We all agree that it could happen. Or give me a component anvil. Like, I'm not even kidding. If I hit that, it's a first place. The weft and we the fate guides. Hard spoil the chase. Come on. Oh. Should I go 10? Wait, no, I could I should actually roll for Lissandra 3. Reveal our way. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. <sighs> okay, slightly questionable set positioning. My options now, go nine, or sorry, go 10, and then fit in like a, uh, like Ash. Wait, a component! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh! I'm gonna do it. Wait, it's not contested, right? It's not contested. All right, Albert, thin the pool. Oh, 
What the fuck? I already sold my Nautiluses. Obscure my bench a little bit. Okay, uh, my APM is really bad right now. I, there was a lot of small things I had to do there. Oh! Oh my god. Imagine if I died. It was all because I like didn't finish my operations. Alright, come on, Albert. You can do it. Oh, fuck. Okay, Albert, just live this round. Okay, I did, I, I did all my operations. I linked everything. Oh, just grab an item and slam it mid-round. You never know. Okay, alive. Okay. Yeah, there's the rod. <laughs> it's fine. I, I had to slam now to stay alive. All right, Albert, any chance of, you know what? Faded emblem? Honestly, I don't, I don't even think you care about the faded emblem. I think you just grab money and gold, like money and a decent item. Faded emblem could work. You you would drop this Ari for something like a Lux. It's not worth. We have more important things to focus on. I think I'm gonna lose. Should I go for it? I'm gonna go for it. The last time I ate a plant was never. Oh. No. No. If I wasn't gonna lose before, I'm definitely gonna lose now. Now that I downgraded. Oh, you know what? Against the, it's it's probably too late now, but I'm probably not supposed to link uh, tanks here. I'm probably supposed to link damage. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to link uh, like Syndra Kindred or something, because Ghostly stacks up. Ghostly stacks up over time, like on as as they converge all their ghosts onto one unit. Uh, you like get one shot no matter how tanky you are. So instead of me linking set and uh, Thresh, who are by default like the, the standard tank ones. I should have just linked full damage and tried to end the fight earlier. I don't know if it would have been enough. I, I also could have like sold the Thresh and kept trying for Syndra. I even could have sold Set. Maybe I should have. I, I kept thinking like, oh, there's a small chance I could still win. My team comp's not bad. <laughs>